Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at two new updates from Universe Sandbox Square that actually introduce these two new discoveries about which I talked about on this channel. Anyway, welcome to What The Man. So once in a while, the Universe Sandbox Square team releases an update, and these updates are actually not very common, but once they happen, they do add some really cool simulations. And in this particular case, they added these two simulations based on the discoveries of October and November 2017 of the um, asteroid known as Oumuamua, and also the exoplanet known as Ross 128. Now we're going to t briefly take a look at them. If you don't really know what these two are, you may want to check out one of the previous videos. But basically, let's start with this here. Uh, th this simulation, which I've actually discussed in one of the previous videos, is a lot more accurate. And here we actually get to see what exactly is happening with this particular asteroid. Now, Oumuamua was discovered on October 19 of 2017. And it's the first interstellar object we discovered. Basically, it's an object that came from outer space came close to our sun, and then left, or is technically still leaving. Now here in this simulation, they actually made it very accurate in terms of the location, so you can see where this object is currently. So today I'm making this on November 22nd, so I'm gonna stop it right there. 23rd, okay, close enough. So it's actually located right here past uh, the orbit of Mars, but not quite as far as, um, I guess, Jupiter just yet, or not even not even uh, to the asteroid belt yet. Um, and then you can kind of scroll through time and see what happens. Now, the more recent discovery about this particular asteroid is that it turns out that it's very weirdly shaped. It's shaped like a cigar. And um, we realize that it changes its luminosity by a factor of 10. Basically, it, uh, you know, every few minutes, or I guess every few times an hour, it goes from being about luminosity of 1 to then luminosity of 10. And it continues this over and over, so this made us realize that it's probably shaped like this. And um, it turns out that this is probably the weirdest shaped uh, asteroid, and it's also the first interstellar discovery, so it's kind of unusual in many, many, many different ways. And we created a new designation for this object, it's now known as 1... I Oumuamua. Uh, I stands for interstellar, and one stands for the first interstellar object discovered. So every time we find another one, it's going to acquire a different number. And this one is about 90 meters in size. So that's uh, Oumuamua, and you can even run this until it leaves the solar system and discover when this happens. So here, if I actually run this for a very long time, it's going to pass by all of these objects, including um, Salacia and a few other uh, farther away bodies. But it's not going to come close to any planets, unfortunately. And so here, around the year 2100, it's, it's still kind of in the solar system, but it's already on the outskirts, and it's going to be moving away farther and farther away. And at some point, it's going to completely disappear. I can't really run this any more faster because there's too many objects here. Now, the second simulation here is Ross 128. And this is a discovery from November 15 of 2017 when we confirmed that there was an exoplanet, and not just an exoplanet, but possibly a habitable exoplanet known as Ross 128b. Ross 128 is actually relatively close to us, it's not too far. And uh, it's a very interesting red dwarf. It's, it's a very calm red dwarf. It doesn't really have many flares compared to other red dwarfs. And because of this, we think that this planet might actually have very interesting features on it, including, of course, possibly liquid water and possibly even atmosphere. So right now, as soon as I added atmosphere, the temperature here skyrockets to like over 100 degrees Celsius. So it might have to have atmosphere that's a little bit lower because it's, it does orbit a little bit closer to its parent star. Uh, but yeah, so there's quite a high possibility for it to be a habitable world, or at least colonizable in some way. Um, and it's very likely that it's also tidally locked, so even though one side might be super hot, the other side might be actually very comfortable and very calm and uneventful, but obviously dark. 
So these two discoveries can now be completely and totally thoroughly explored in Universe Sandbox, and they are very scientifically realistic, including, of course, the orbital parameters, the uh, sizes, and, of course, the actual time involved. Uh, a few more previous simulations added things from Vsauce, which, who is a famous YouTuber, which basically include his investigation of the fact that if you change our sun into a black hole, nothing really changes, except for, of course, things get a little bit cold, but the actual solar system remains the same. And then the other thing where he investigated gravity by colliding two balls, showing you that every object in the universe, including you and me, have our own gravitational field. And here, after about couple, no, I guess three days. It takes three days for these two baseballs to attract each other. And so these are the new additions in Universe Sandbox. I think they're pretty awesome, especially the fact that they've updated the Oumuamua um, with both the name and the actual scientific parameters, the orbital parameters, that is. And now you can actually see the very realistic orbit or I guess the trail of Oumuamua as it moves across our solar system, which is something that I tried to recreate myself, but it was relatively challenging. And so that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you learned something from it and do check out Universe Sandbox for some really, really cool, realistic simulations of space and our solar system. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else and don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't. Space out and as always, Bye-bye. Well, if you explode our sun, turns out the Oumuamua explodes as well. I think I just destroyed everything. <laughs>